In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 for practice exam number three for Math 1060, in which case we're given a triangle ABC and we're asked to solve for this triangle. The information we know is that we know angle A is 30 degrees, angle B is likewise 30 degrees, and the side opposite angle A, which we call little a, is eight centimeters long. Notice this is a situation we have angle, angle, side, which is an appropriate place to use the law of sines. Also, we can see here that we have an angle opposite side pair in AOS. So the law of sines is what we're gonna wanna use here. So our first, the first thing we wanna do is probably figure out what angle C is gonna be here, right? So the measure of angle C is gonna equal 180 degrees minus the measure of angle A, which is 30, minus the measure of angle B, which is likewise 30. 30 and 30 come together to give me 60, of course. And if you take that away from 180, you're left behind at 120 degrees. So that's gonna be the measure of angle C, 120 degrees like so. Uh, next, we're gonna use the law of sines to find the missing sides, always comparing to the AOS that we know, which is the A1 there. So to find little b, we're gonna use the equation little b over sine b is equal to little a over sine a. Uh, plug in the information we know. Well, actually, we'll times both sides by sine of b. So we get that little b equals a sine of b over sine of a here. And for which case, we're gonna get that little a is eight. Sine of b um, is sine of 30 degrees, like so. And sine of a is actually also Sorry, sine of A, A is also 30 degrees, so you can sine of 30 degrees. Now, admittedly, um, sine of 30 degrees is one half. We don't even need a calculator for that. But since it's both the same, those are going to cancel out, and we get 8 right here. So A is also 8, uh, or B, excuse me, A is 8. We knew that. B is 8 as well, 8 centimeters for a little b. Now, that might not be too surprising when you look at that in hindsight. Notice you have 30 and 30. This is an isosceles triangle. So the when two angles are congruent, their opposite ang the opposite sides are also gonna be congruent to each other. It's an isosceles triangle. This diagram is not drawn to scale. You should never expect them to be. Um, to find the remaining side, little c, we need to do another law of sine. So we're gonna use a again. Um, if you wanna use b, you could, but I'm just gonna stick with a. Little c over sine of c is equal to little a over sine of a. This suggests that little c is equal to a times sine of c over sine of a for which case we get a is 8 sine of 120 degrees like so over sine of 30 degrees uh, so let's think about this for a second 120 degrees actually references 60 degrees uh it's it's the reference angle of 120 is 60 degrees basically saw that from above right here anyway so that means sine of 120 is the same as thing as sine of 60 over sine of 30 and again, you do have a calculator you can use, but these are all special angles. No calculator is actually needed here. Uh, we get that sine of 60 degrees is root three over two. Sine of 30 degrees is one half. So if we times top and bottom by two, uh, we'll end up with eight times the square root of three centimeters. And that's the exact value there. If we want an approximation, because you do have a calculator, you could have approximated 13 point uh, eight, five, six centimeters. That also would be acceptable, uh, but exact answers are definitely preferred on these ones. And so we see the exact value here would be eight times the square root of three. And that then finishes uh, this oblique triangle that we've now solved.